you're looking for somebody to take the stress away, to help you write that sales copy, launch your product, get more customers, scale your company, and remove you from most of the writing process. So that way you just hire them once, they get amazing results, and you don't have to go through the process of finding a new one over and over. Well, the good news is you're speaking directly to one, so I'm gonna give you all of my secrets, my best wish list, if I was to work with a client, so that way you can get super prepared when you hire your next A-list copywriter. G'day, how's it going? My name is Jules Dan. I'm a freelance copper, <laughs> copper, freelance copywriter with over $10 million in client results. And in this channel, we talk about how to get more customers, how to make more per customer, how to keep them coming back with the power of the pen. Now, if you're watching this now, maybe you're curious about hiring a copywriter so that you don't have to do the writing or you just... You can do copywriting, but in order to scale, you have to remove yourself. Well, the big frustration, the big problem that most people would run into is that they don't understand how to work with the copywriter correctly. And I think the biggest problem here is expectations. So many clients expect that on the first letter, on the first draft, they're gonna produce this outstanding result. And I can completely empathize with you because we wanna put our best foot forward and show you all our highlight reels. But the truth is, it's not always that glamorous. Everyone's not gonna show you their full scorecard with all the flops on it. But coming back to my point, if you wanna hire a really good copywriter, you wanna get them on your team, producing the copy quickly and getting results, here's what I would do when you're trying to work with them. Okay, so tip number one is be organized and don't be too busy. This one thing is gonna save you the pain in the butt of just rehiring someone and again and again. And look, I get it. so many people have commitments like family, their business, romantic life, hobbies, that makes total sense. But if you've got three different coaching programs, you've got a mastermind, you've got a meetup, you've got all these other side commitments on top of your thing. One time I worked with this client who tried hiring a different copywriter over and over again and they were just unsuccessful with it. They were eager to lock down one copywriter so they didn't have to keep looking over and over again. But let's be honest, all the good ones are always taken. Turns out into this working relationship, this person had three different coaching programs. They had light events, they were speaking, they were taking all the sales calls, they had their own business on the side. Like it was a mess, like they were just doing so many things. So when I submitted something for review, it took nearly three weeks to get back to me. I made the changes, handed it back to them, and as you can imagine, it would take you know one to two weeks to get back. Do you think any good writer would want to continue working with you with these kind of shenanigans. Nope, I'm never working with that person ever again. So if you're looking to hire a copywriter on your team, make sure, especially on that first project when you're getting to know them, whether they're getting to know you, your market, your offer, make sure you got enough time and bandwidth so you can help them out. Hang on a sec, he looks completely different. What's happened here? All right, well, with the joys of being a, a noob and YouTuber is, uh, yes, I'm still getting my processes in order. But the important part is the content. Stick with me because there's two extra ways I'm gonna show you how to work with a brilliant copywriter and get results right off the bat. Now, here's step number two. You're gonna need this. For the love of God, please have your proof ready. So I mean like testimonials, case studies, screenshots, videos, all that stuff. That's gonna make the process a lot better. Let me tell you a really quick story. So when I first started my copywriting journey, I was on Upwork writing $5 an hour campaigns and I remember they just want, the expectations were just crazy. Like we want insane ROI for $40 per email. I'm like, okay, um, how do I do this? So I remember what I would do is I'd send out a survey and I might get something back, but the point was that they had massive expectations, yet they didn't have their proof ready and organized. In fact, they didn't really have much other than a few on their websites with like, he's awesome, or this person did a really good job. I'm super impressed, which by the way, is not compelling at all. So if you want your copy delivered fast on time and for it to be really, really good, it is super helpful if you have in a folder podcasts, uh, video testimonials, screenshots, like all this proof and organized, not just like one big dump. And, and the reason why that's so powerful because as a copywriter, they're gonna be like, okay, I need some strategic proof. I need to be able to answer this objection on money. Let me go find a money objection where there's like, like a client story and you know they were really struggling and then what happened was they went through your program, they had a lot of transformation and they felt like I could not afford this when I started but then when I went through the process, yada yada, you get what I'm saying? 
that's a money objection story. And you might have something like a time story where someone's super busy and then they thought that then there was absolutely no chance that they could get through the program in say like 12 weeks. Well, you've got a story, you've got a time story that then demonstrates, hey, this person went through this process, they felt just like you and now they've got your desired result. So if you're able to do that, say like money objection, time objection, um, I don't believe in myself objection and you order that proof in your folders, oh my gosh, that's gonna make a copywriter's life so much easier and they're gonna write insanely good copy because of that. So I got started with my clients, Colin Boyd from Self, Self From Stage Academy. I asked his client, I asked, hey, do I need to get on the phone with your customers to pull out some stories? And he's like, no, no, it's already done. So this podcast here talks about how this girl went from first webinar, 10K, uh, this one here had a selling objection, she was feeling icky about sales. So it was just like, objection, 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 podcast, podcast, podcast. Like it was super simple for me to be like, great, I need, I need this piece of proof, I can write the sales letter very, very quickly because of that. And like I mentioned before, when you're having strategic proof and you give this to the copywriter, one, they're gonna save you a bunch of time by not having to dig all the time, but also it's a lot more compelling than just say like a, a few lines of praise or this is awesome. Like when you have these awesome testimonials that answer objections and you're organized, it's gonna make your copy pop, convert better, all that good stuff. So long story short, get cracking, get your proof in order and organize it so that the copywriter feels like you're a professional. Right, so now we're up to step three of how to hire an amazing copywriter. And this is how you do it. You need to understand your customer super damn well. I mean like best friend, telling all the secrets, that, that good. This is a secret for them to hit it out of the park with your copy because you know your customer's problems inside out. Now, ultimately, this all comes down to you because we can't have assumptions, we need the facts, and we need to be able to hear it directly from the customers. And, and not some comments that you saw on a Facebook, real hard data from your customers. I'm talking about like emotional hangups that people have had on sales calls, on coaching calls, maybe when you're in the DMs and you're prospecting, some of the things that keep popping up, repeated patterns. This is the type of gold that the copywriter needs to inject that magic into the copy so it converts super well. And it's your job to know and understand your customer very well. So before you hire a copywriter, it's really critical that you know these things about your customer. Things like, what are their top daily frustrations? Who is the enemy in your market? And it doesn't have to be a person, it can be behavior, it can be some concept. Uh, the point is like, who's burned them before and who's the enemy in your market? And the third one, I've already just said that, like who's burned them before? Uh, and here we want to get clear on the opportunities that people have bought into that have just not gotten results with. And then that ties into like, what other solutions have they tried before and why were they unsuccessful with them? If you can answer those few things, that's gonna be super helpful for us. Oh, and I should probably mention, how do people feel about those failures and those hangups? That's the important part. Like, this is what might be going on, but what's the emotional hangup and the consequences behind it? Now, here's the thing again, I have to reiterate this. If you're just going off on assumptions, what some, what one or two different people told you, you know, that might have caused a backlash in the copy and in your sales as a result. So bottom line, what do you need to do before you go hire a copywriter? Let me recap. First step, you need to be damn organized. Try not to have a million different things going on at the same time because when you're first starting with a new copywriter, ideally it's an ongoing relationship so you don't have to keep rehiring. So bottom line is try and free up some time so that you're not having to leave this copywriter in the dark when it comes to knowing you, your market, your offer. It's gonna make things move much faster because there's no lag time in between the really important stuff which is getting to know your customers. Which leads into number two is having lots of proof ready, organized in files. And I mean like putting them in files so that it answers objections. So that means you've got specific proof like the money objections, the time objections, the I don't believe myself objections, everything else. If you can categorize them and put them into folders, it's gonna make our life as a copywriter so much easier for you. And the third one, like we just mentioned, make sure you do your homework on your customers and you're not having just assumptions of what you think might be true. So going back through sales calls, going back through coaching calls, inside of your DMs when you're prospecting perhaps, what are those common occurrences and patterns that keep coming forward? That way you know it's real and not just, you know, just some comment you saw on Facebook. And we don't want to fall into the trap of confirmation bias where you think one or two comments means it's true for everything. Pretty simple checklist, right? When you have all those three things, you're gonna maximize your chances of having absolute knockout of the park campaign 
with your next copywriter. Now, in my next video, I've got something really cool for you to check out, especially if you sell something with intangible results. You don't promise money at a discount, meaning you don't say like, you pay me 5K and I'll give you 30K back within you know 60 days because that's what a copywriter basically does. What do you do if you sell confidence, if you sell general being, if you sell weight loss, like how do you actually sell that? So it's quantifiable and tangible for people like business owners who really care about that stuff, like money and time. Well, check out this video here. I'm gonna show you exactly how you break that down. I've called it my Rainmaker positioning strategy. It's really cool. I've used it with my clients to help position their offers so that it makes total sense for someone to be like, yes, I could see myself saving money and time because you've shown me the value. Really cool video. Go check it out over here on the next playlist.